Can I delete iOS files on Mac? If you're wondering whether it's safe to delete those iOS files taking up space on your Mac, you're not alone. Let's break it down to help you make an informed decision. First, let's understand what these iOS files are. When you back up your iPhone or iPad to your Mac, either because you installed a beta version of iOS or needed to restore your device, these backups are stored on your Mac. These files can include all your iPhone data, such as contacts, photos, videos, and app data. Now the question is, can Yin Yu delete these files without any consequences? The short answer is yes, but there are some things to consider. If you're running a standard version of iOS and you back your iPhone to iCloud, deleting the iOS files on your Mac won't affect your iPhone at all. You can check if your iPhone is backing up to iCloud by going to Settings, selecting your Apple ID, tapping iCloud, and then iCloud Backup. If the green switch is on, you're good to go. However, if you're still running a beta version of iOS on your iPhone, there's a small risk that deleting the backup on your Mac could lead to data loss if you need to restore your iPhone, so it's best to be cautious in that case. To delete iOS files on your Mac, you have a few options. The easiest way is to use macOS Optimized Storage feature. Here's how. Go to the Apple menu and choose About This Mac. Select More Info. Storage Settings. Look for iOS files in the list and select the backups you want to delete. Click Delete and Confirm. Another way is to use Finder to manually delete the files. You can do this by opening Finder and pressing Chimi, navigating to slash library, application support, mobile sync slash backup, selecting the unneeded iOS files and moving them to the trash. In addition to these methods, you can also manage backups through Finder if your iPhone is connected to your Mac. Simply click on your iPhone in the Finder sidebar, go to the General tab, click Manage Backups, and delete the unwanted backups. Deleting these files can free up a significant amount of space on your Mac, especially if you have multiple large backups stored. So if you're running out of space and you've confirmed your iPhone is backed up to iCloud, it's safe and beneficial to delete those iOS files on your Mac. 